Good morning, friends. You all know that I am an orthopedic surgeon. I deal with bones and joints. And what is bone? Can someone tell me? Is it alive or dead? So life. The bone is life. Bone is alive. Life is movement. Movement is life. So this thing has to come out from your mind that bone is a dead thing within the body. And we will be discussing about compression and distraction. Not only on bone, because it is a live tissue, but also on our lives. Because bone being life, life being life, the model of life goes on bones also. So what is compression? Well, you can define compression as when forces act on some bodies and bring them together. So how do we produce compression? It can be either by pushing two things towards each other, or compression can come also by pulling two things towards each other. And what is the effect of compression? The effect is that two people come and stay together. The same model will be acting on the bones also. Now the question is, if you happen to bring two bodies together by compression, this compression may be an inner force of attraction, hormones, or pheromones. Or it can be an outer compression coming from the family, peers, and friends. But the aim is to stay together for stability. The same thing has to be acting on a fracture and bones also. So till when will the stability remain? The stability remains only till the compression is in force. If someone loses interest, then this compression goes off. Let us see it on the life model. When two people are getting compressed or attracted, they come together and start living together. Society is saying as to how to keep them together. So if you want to, them to be stable, the Indian culture says, marry them. Now, is this marriage with two people stable? Will we call it as a relative stability or as an absolute stability? Yes, it is a relative stability. They are there with the peer pressures. The pressures have gone up. They have accepted to stay together. They want to stay together, but a marriage is holding them. And what next? If you want them to be absolutely stable, then they have to have a child, and the marriage becomes absolute stability. Same is with the bone. You get a fracture, you try to align the bones, you bring them together, give them compression. Bones are together. They will stay together, if at all. How? By an implant, plate or nail. If it is in the diaphysis, in the middle of the bone, you want relative stability, because then the bone can move, the bone can live, the bone can breathe, the bone will unite. And if you make it totally stable, especially in those areas where you have to give movements at the joints, it will be called as absolute stability, and otherwise the fractures will again be separated. Same is with life. Now there were two people who came together with compression, and you decided forces are acting on more people, they come together with a common goal. What is the common goal with many of people called as? It is called as unity. Now think of a situation, a very famous movie has come in the theater, and people start to enter more and more. All the seats are full and people are standing. Well, this will be called as a crowd. If still more people start to come in, even after standing, and they start pushing each other, it will be called as a crush. And suddenly if someone says there is a bomb in the theater, people will be starting to run away, and that will be a stampede. So compression within biological limits is only good for a fracture to unite. But if the compression is more, 
the bony ends will be getting crushed there will be fibrosis in between the bone will not unite and it will become a non union so that was the biology and biomechanics of compression which helps in bony union coming to now the distraction model what is the goal of you people in life well most of you want that there should be studies and with that you have to pass out and make a career but then activities come some people want to go to the temples and pray what is the ultimate goal if they keep on praying maybe they will become a priest some people during their studies get distracted they want to earn they cannot earn students so they try to steal what will become they will become pirates or they will become prisoners some people want to play and what will happen they will become a sportsman and some people will keep on studying then maybe they will become in the academic field as professors or principals the question is is this wrong are distractions wrong people have an impression that compression is good in life but distractions are diverting you from your goal but not always distractions are wrong distractions if nurtured well if harnessed can be utilized for a betterment so in life if a person wants to play and we nurture him we give him a direction he may be one of the best players so the same principle has to be coming to the bone also if there is a fracture and we start to pull the ends apart there will be a gap and we perceive that it will not unite but then there is distraction there is a biomechanics of it there is a biology about it so once you start distracting the overlapping ends of the bone can be brought together you maintain distraction the bone will not move from its side and then if there is fibrous tissue in between how to make the bone unite well most of you people will be saying that a magic remedy has come and that is the stem cell a cell which you inject at the fracture site which can convert into bone so the bone will unite but from where to get the stem cells well distraction is a like a stem cell for the fracture where if you go in a biological manner and give a control distraction there is a metaplasia of the fibroblasts into osteoblasts and the bone will unite so we have to harness distraction if you go with a very fast distraction there will be fibrous tissue if you go for a slow distraction there will be chondroblast and cartilage formation but if you go within the biological limits of 1 mm per day that can be coming as 1 mm in 24 hours or a quarter mm in 6 hours however you time it but be consistent there will be bone formation so on the principles where a man gets diverted and becomes a sportsman or a policeman or goes into prison we can decide by distraction how to make bones or cartilage or a non union so that was for fractures but then we should remember that distractions are also a good thing in life like when they're on the joints and the joints are painful you distract the pain goes off there is a cervical spondylolisthesis you distract the neck pain goes off you get a back pain you go for tadasan there is lumbar traction and the back pain goes off so now it is on you people to decide whether compression is good or distraction is good in life in the bones or anywhere so within biological limits it may be compression or distraction all are good for life that's my message for you thank you <laughs>